You know, I, I'm just, I want to congratulate our seniors. I, I thought that um, each and every one of them played hard and, um, you know, they've led this program, especially the last couple years. And to me, they've had tremendous careers. Um, you know, when they came here, the program hadn't seen the NCAA tournament since 1991. And um, they, uh, you know, they, they were recruited by a lot of other schools that had winning traditions and they chose a road that's a lot tougher. And I think that talks a lot about our seniors. They came in here to create a winning program, a championship program, and uh, you know I think they've left this program in great hands. I, I, all the success that we're going to enjoy from this point forward is going to be the uh, direct result of those four seniors, and I, I just can't say enough about how much I and, and the rest of our staff, and I know our fans, are, appreciate the four years that they've given us. I'm also very, very proud to say that they've been great in our community. Um, they're, they're loved by this community, and um, they, they have uh, obviously all four are going to graduate in the spring, and, and that's just, to me, that's hitting the home run, you know, and they're great people, and we wish them all the best. Coach, talk a little bit about uh, Brandy's night, 17 and 8. She continues to play well at the conference, but did she keep that 10 4 run down the stretch to, to answer the USC run? But uh, yeah. well, couldn't get a bucket later. Yeah, you know, I think Brandy's a, a perfect example of, you know, somebody taking advantage of the moment here at Washington State with the injuries that we had, especially with Iritia Mojo, our leading scorer going out, and Tia Presley, our starting point guard, and then at times with April Cook being very, very limited in her ability to play because of her back injuries. Um, you know, Brandy was put into a lot of minutes on the floor, and to her credit, um, you know, she wasn't ready. She wasn't ready at the beginning of that role. But she has continued to work very, very hard um, in practice and extra work outside of practice to become the sharpshooter on this team and the go-to. And it's to me, it's a great silver line. It's a great story to you know to the adversity that's happened in our program with the injuries. And I'm just so proud of her. So excited for her. And uh, you know, it, it's just I think it's just the tip of the iceberg. I think this kid is very athletic, very smart, very self-driven. And she's starting to show glimpses of greatness. And, um, you know, I'm just so excited that we've got the postseason tournament down in, in, the, in L.A. to play with her, to work with her for the next two years, because I think she's going to become something very special. I know it's tough to turn the page so quickly, but mm -hmm. uh, talk a little bit about next week. Your team oh, yeah. playing very well. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, excited about next week. Not sure who our opponent's going to be. I guess we'll find out a little bit later tonight. But uh, probably either ASU, um, Possibly UCLA again, who we just beat the other night. And uh, the third option is Oregon State, which uh, we, we split with this year. So, um, you know, whoever it is, I'm excited because I think that our seniors are going down there with a lot of confidence, and they know what it's like to play in it. Um, our underclassmen, you know, some of them know. Our freshmen certainly don't have any idea. But it's, it's a great opportunity to, to play in postseason with the pressure of being one in advance or one and done. And, uh, you know, I, I feel like we're playing some uh, very high-level basketball to close out our season. You know, we had a four-point loss on the road at ASU, a four-point loss over at Washington, and then obviously beat UCLA. First time we beat them since 2001 here in the, at the program. And tonight we had our opportunity to have a few turnovers and a few more made free throws. It could have been a different outcome. So I, I like it that we're going down there with great leadership and we're playing well. And whoever we're going to play, I, I believe we'll be ready and we'll give them the best game that we've given them all year.